everybody it's Karina what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel as I'm filming this it's literally like 1 in the morning on July 15th which is my mom's four-year anniversary I've done a whole video on kind of my mom's story so I'm not gonna go into that a whole bunch in this video I'll have that video linked below if you want to know like her entire story and like everything um, about my mom basically I'm just gonna give you guys a little rundown and then I'm gonna get into saying what I want to say I was gonna do a slideshow there will be pictures popping up as I talk but I was gonna do a slideshow it's a bit difficult to do that but I just wanted to make a quick little memorial talking video kind of just talk about my feelings and um, where I'm at mentally right now basically my mom her name was Frances and my mom was my best fucking friend on this earth like she was my absolute best friend and she was diagnosed with heart failure in 2010 she got a pacemaker in her chest and then she a couple of years later she had to get another surgery to get a new one because it wasn't working properly and she started to feel pain in her chest so she drove herself to the hospital fluid in her lungs and she just basically was on rapid heart failure at that point and all the way up to her death in july july 15th which is today of 2016. that's the story of my mother and i basically just wanted to make this video and like talk about how i'm feeling and like what i want to say to my mom and all that fun stuff so first things first for the past four years it obviously hasn't been easy it hasn't been something that I've necessarily wanted to do nobody wants to lose a parent nobody wants to go through that what's important is that I've done it and I'm doing it for her I have a lot of loving supporting family around me that is more than willing to mother me when I need it I want to say a huge shout out to my aunt Casey she is the most amazing woman I've ever met I love her so much and She's really, really done a lot for me since my mom died and, you know, been there for me as a mother figure since the day everything started going downhill with my mom's health. My Aunt Casey was always the person I knew I could turn to. I also want to say a huge thank you to my Aunt Connie. She actually let me live with her for a little less than a year and I really needed that. Uh, in that time, I was able to get my patriarchal blessing. And I was able to meet with a bishop about some stuff that I was dealing with and a counselor. Uh, not only for the stuff I was dealing with, but for my mom's death as well. And that really helped. So I want to say thank you to Aunt Connie. And I also want to say thank you to my mom's mom, my grandma. Um, you're an angel. I love you so much. And thank you for always being the one that gives me a little piece of my mom when I need it. So I just want to say thank you to those people. And I also want to say thank you to my amazing father. He has been wonderful. I mean, we all have our ups and downs. We all do stuff that isn't necessarily right or appropriate at the time, but my dad has really stepped up and he's really an amazing man. And I'm so, so, so thankful for him for, you know, supporting me and loving me and just obviously giving me a wonderful home and just, I'm so thankful for my dad. So. Uh, dad if you're watching this I love you so much to my mom I love you so much and there's nobody else I'd rather do life for than you even though our physical relationship ended sooner than most people I feel like the connection we had in my 16 years of life while you were alive was nothing short of amazing you were always there to support me and love me and make sure I made good decisions make sure I did good in school and just make sure that I was being the best person I could be and I truly thank you for that because my life would have been a whole lot different without you I didn't really know how severely it would change until I was actually forced to face that change. Like, I remember you were in the hospital and like right after your LVAD surgery and we were sitting up healing and we came to see you and I remember Caitlin and dad hugged you and they walked out of the room and I gave you a hug and you held me there. And I don't remember exactly what you said, but I can quote from what I remember. You said something along the lines of, 
if anything is to happen to me, keep the faith, make good choices. You can be sad, you can be upset, you can be mad. You can let those emotions show those emotions are good, but don't let it ruin you. Don't let it don't let it change who you are as a person. Like don't let it change your personality. Don't let it change your faith in God and eternal families. And you know, ever since that day, I've just been doing exactly what you've told me to do. I've kept the faith as much as I possibly can. I've tried my hardest to not let it change me and to not let it define who I am, how happy I am. Obviously, it's, sometimes it's hard because it's a mother. Nobody will ever replace that. But I think that if you hadn't have said that to me, I would have done life a lot differently after you passed. I would have held grudges a lot longer and just been angry and bitter at the world a lot longer and a lot worse. And I feel like that's something that I will continue to thank God for, is that you said that to me when you did. I just want you to know that I'm so proud of you and I'm so proud of your fight. It takes a strong human being to go through what you went through on the level of severity that you had to deal with. I know that when you're healthy, you don't really think twice about being sick or having a disease or just being ill like that. You kind of take advantage of your health, but seeing you go through that made me appreciate my health a lot more. It made me appreciate that, you know, I wake up every day not in any pain. My heart's still beating. I can breathe. My heart's doing what it needs to do to keep me alive. And I thank you for showing me how strong you can be when you don't think that you can. The Friends Fight fundraiser that we did for you was actually, that was the quote, you never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have. And that quote hits me on a different level because you really don't. You really don't know how strong you are until you're you're fighting for your life in, in and out of a hospital every two weeks. And it's just like, I don't know. I admire your strength and I admire what you went through because not anybody could do that and stay in good spirits like you did. I admire your passion and your lust for life. You always had this aura about you that was just positivity and love and happiness and faith and just all of the good attributes that make up a mother. And you always said that your number one calling was to be a mother and you really were like the ideal picture of a mother and I'm so happy that I got to call you my mom. Like there's nothing more special to me than that. And I'm, I thank you for being the mother that you were to Sissy and I. We obviously are impacted by your death, but your life impacted us a lot more and we wouldn't be the people we are without your motherly love and your nurturing and your caring and your trust and just everything. So I want to say thank you, Mama, for being so wonderful and always making sure that Caitlin and I were happy and healthy and making sure that we had the best lives that we possibly could. I want to thank you for raising us in the church and giving us the knowledge of eternal families because I think if you look at things eternally, it's not as scary. It makes my heart so happy that I'm going to see you again one day and that we're, we'll always be a family. And that's amazing to me. So I just wanted to say that and I just want to say I love you so much and there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about you and that I don't miss you. And um, I want to thank you for sending all the good people my way and keeping all the good people in my life because I don't doubt that you know exactly who I need and exactly when I need them. You taught me a lot and I love you so much and four years down until eternity begins. I love you.